Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Monkey Slayers Gaming. This is the first episode of the Road to the Mouse, or Mouse in German. I'll be taking out the Tiger 2s and the Tiger E. If I die all the way to then, well I suck. Uh, hope we have a good time. Uh, once again, this is the first episode in the series Road to the Miles. And once I get the Miles, I'll be playing that like crazy. So let's see. What's going on with everybody else? Doesn't look like our team's that bad. Got a nice mix of tanks and everything. Enemy team looks pretty much the same as ours. This Tiger 2 though is a uh, really nice tank, really nicely armored, lots of penetration. Sadly no frontal coaxial machine gun or upper mount or anything. And the armor is all nice and sloped at the front, although the lower glacis, which is that like bottom half of your tank, is really pretty easy to punch through. Um, Gonna see if I can loop up around here and get like a nice flank off straight down the middle. Sort of stupid if you ask me now, but hey, hello tank. Three, two, fire! Ha 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 ha! Stupid fool. The King Tiger will not take your shit today, you little fool. The King Tiger is hungry for the flesh of enemy tanks. Oh, there. Ah, he's got like a nice little thing. Ah, oh, he killed our machine gun operator. Oh well. Oh, that was close. Gonna roll in in the old style. Oh. Somebody's playing in my air. Now the nice thing about this game is that the armor and the damage and the penetration values and everything like that are actually pretty realistic. Um, if you angle your tank just right, you will bounce basically everything that hits you, if anything hits you to begin with. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. This is gonna be fun. IS-2. We're back behind the hill. Looks like the enemy just captured the command point. So we're gonna start taking some point losses here. The buddy right there is doing okay. It looks like he's pretty hurt though. I could walk up there and support him, but... Not that nuts to die right now. Enemy tanks. Hello. Oh, that's another King Tiger. Oh, run away! Oh my god! Oh, damn. Killed me. Well, if you noticed, I was running with a little less ammunition than, uh, full. And that's because recently, especially in this Tiger, um, it's been getting to the point where the, like, the smallest of fragments would be able to hit a piece of ammo and my entire tank goes up in an, in a, an inferno. And I have no idea why. Um, but yeah, so this is the Tiger 2, again, different model as you can probably tell, camouflaged and everything. Um, I personally think this one has a better turret turn radius, but that's just me. Uh, I think this one also has a slightly higher crew than the other tank. I know my Tiger E, which is the, um, wow, I'm in second place. Oh, look, a plane shooting at me. Where are you? Stupid plane. Um, get back here, I will kill you. 
Oh wait, is he permanently in that? No, that, that's just him. Uh, he's fucking shooting at me again. Oh. I guess he was Japanese. Don't they know that doesn't work against tanks that well? Uh-oh. Just looked at the mini-map and it looks like our uh, middle assault has failed and they are now firing into our flank. So yay! Gonna get our asses handed to us pretty much. Unless we can pull off a miracle. I will also say that this is probably going to be a pretty short series considering that I only have uh, a few more tanks to finish researching and purchasing. Um, I will say, however, that... Um, oh, hello. They're all hiding over there in the little uh, barriers. Oh, that's cute. He thinks he's safe. Oh, maybe he is safe. Looks like there's AA over there too, which is annoying and pretty much that's it. That's all AA can be. Um, unless they're running some pretty high caliber shit. But then again, I don't think they're running sick. Oh, shit! See, that's what I mean. Unless he hit me head on, we'll see. Yeah. The tiniest fragment hit that back ammo and my entire tank exploded. No goddamn idea why, it just does. So this uh, crew in this Tiger E here, I think is really a lot better than all my other tanks just because I play on this crew the most, so I get the most experience for them, but, yeah, still a pretty slow tank, I mean, German heavy tanks, 15 to maybe 20 miles per hour if you're lucky, uh, but. now if you're wondering, I do also play World of Tanks, but recently I've been playing, um, this a little more than World of Tanks just because I'm finding a lot of this more attractive than World of Tanks. Um, like, I mean, the tanks themselves are pretty standard compared to World of Tanks, although this has like a, I think, want to say almost 14 gig update that you can optionally download that has like super high resolution textures but did not download them luckily this however has machine guns on it so I can actually engage these planes although machine guns suck I have two on here. I got that top now made, uh... I don't know the caliber on that. It's nice and pretty off. Has that tracers going on and everything. Do 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 do. Going up and over the hill, which is a really, really stupid idea if I had asked myself earlier. Oh! Yep. Well, because I got my ass kicked super, super early, it looks like I'm probably going to have to jump in another game real quick and, uh, play around a little more. Oh, look at this guy just sitting in spawn. Oh, there he goes. Alright, we're going to lose that. Well, uh, let's see how we did at least. Yeah, that was pretty bad that overall but uh i'll show you guys real quick how far we are away from getting the mouse here which i will say is one beauty of a tank and if more of them were made during world war ii it would have been a ko for our allies we would have lost so hard um so, to be able to research into this, as you can see here, I need to purchase 
four more vehicles in rank four. So I can buy this right now and then that'll go down to three. Uh, I don't want to choose a crow. There it is. So now if I click on this, hopefully it'll say three. Yep. So I gotta research three more tanks, or I gotta research this, this, and then these two, and that's gonna make it down to two. Or what I could do is I could spend a little bit of money and get these two tanks here, the uh, Yag Panther and this Panzer Wagon six. But that together is around 13,000 gold. And that's a lot of money. That's like $72. And uh, right now being in college and everything, not so much high on the money. So if, if I get some money that I can spend and I want to put it in this, I can put it on these two, and then I only need one more tank, and then I'm good, and I can research the tiger, and then the mouse, um, but yeah, that's probably going to be the end of this video, um, at least for now that is, uh, I'm going to have this series running, and I'm also going to have a, uh, walk through on zombie army which is the uh sniper elite game and i just bought the trilogy off of steam so i'm probably gonna do that well uh thanks for watching people uh, talk to you later i guess sayonara